so it's so good to see you all. I watched um, the reality TV show, and I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed it. Thank so you. Welcome to you guys. Thank well you so done. much. Hi, Kelly. Let me start with Kelly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, because I, I, I really enjoyed watching you on the show, and that's oh, why I'm starting with th you. Thank you. Aww. But in a way, in a way, I think your personality wasn't blossoming enough. I want to know if you that way, um, your whole personality in the show seemed to be tied to your relationship with DJ Naked. Um, was there a time you felt unseen, you felt like you could have given more? Mm. Yeah, so a lot of the time, I think that I try to separate myself from Quinton. Um, you know, I wanted to be my own person, my own brand. And it was, it was difficult because I came on the show with him. Um, you know, so automatically the, our relationship became the highlight of our reason for being on the show. So I did try and, and separate myself from him. I don't think um, we separated ourselves enough purely because a lot of our storyline was our relationship. Um, so I do think I could have um, I could have separated myself from him a little bit more, um, but that's why there's gonna be a season two. Yeah, I'm ah, tell I can't wait to see. <laughs> and I absolutely enjoyed the therapy session. Absolutely enjoyed the therapy session. So did I. At that point, did you ever feel like you were too vulnerable for the show? Um, like throwing it all out. Yeah, so, so um, prior to the show, I had an idea of what I wanted to put out there, you know. And um, as the show went on, like we've been saying, as the show went on, um, you know, you just, you, you just started, giving out, started giving away more and more and more um, without even knowing it. Because in order to, um, you know, give the viewers what they want or, or to give them the final um, outcome or product, you needed to, you know, give them the full story. So you couldn't actually leave anything else out. Um, sorry, you couldn't leave anything out. So it did become very invasive. It became very personal. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I think sharing um, everything about my life and or, or a portion of my life and my relationship with Quentin, um, it, it's inspirational for others. You know, we all the same people we all doesn't matter where we're from where we come from our backgrounds um we're all the same people we all have ups and downs in life you know so it's it's nice to i think this is a nice platform to people to, for people to see that yeah I, I agree with you because a lot of times when we see celebrities you know we do not really see their pain we do not really see them as humans we just think oh they can show that everything and i really enjoyed watching you you know talk about your relationship unabashedly i mean that's really really con commendable i'm listening Thank to you. nadia hi nadia hi how are you Hello, yeah you. i'm fine i enjoyed your whole vibe i mean with you there's no trouble there's no wahala you know what? <laughs> you are the drama <laughs> thank you you are giving us an hot hot you know telling me <laughs> exactly how you feel but you know let's talk about your relationship with diaz called him with so, who sorry um dear diamond oh diamond yes sorry yes <laughs> <laughs> you were like which one <laughs> Nadia. Which one? <laughs> Which one of them are you talking so about? On one, on one hand, you are this very blunt lady, you know, who tells people exactly as it is. Mm -hmm. But with Diamond, I felt like, hey, we didn't know where you stood. You know, do you want to be with him? Do you not want to be with him? Are you leading him on? Are you not leading Drop him on? Perhaps you should just <laughs> give us a little bit of clarity. <laughs> Woo! Is that, what you, is that what you got from that? All of that. You know, um, to be honest, the reason why I handled Diamond the way that I did is um, being in the industry and being a female, you will always get into situations when men will advance when, you, when actually all you want as an artist like myself is to be able to work with this artist. So therefore, when you need to turn someone down, you have to do it with tact and like with, with, with gl like gloves on to not get the result of not being able to work with this person. And I feel like even though when I tried to handle the situation with Kay, it still resulted in Diamond and I not working, which is what I was trying to avoid, where if you don't get to date or anything, then the working part of it doesn't happen. And I was trying to avoid it and be nice and not be completely like mean and rude and say, it's not going to happen, get over it, because I still wanted to work with this person. But then 
at the end, it's, the result still ended up being the same. I wasn't able to work with him because I guess he couldn't get the punga. You know. Yeah, I hope you get to work with him in future. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> Take I that hope, away. I hope so Take too. Take that back. I, that. I think I'm going to have to date him to work with him because it looks like if I don't date him, I can't work with him. So it's tricky. <laughs> Hopefully that will change. Hopefully. I really don't laugh yet because I'm coming right to the <laughs> I'm all yours. About your... Yeah, I want to really know what you were thinking when you were, you know, getting closer to Zari. Mm. Especially since Diamond is your friend. So I know you had a conversation with um, Nadia, but now I want you to have a conversation with me. <laughs> yes. Break it down. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got so excited. <laughs> I want to hear it too. Let's hear this. Um, you know, you know what the thing is when you're a close group of people that are always together. Um, you don't screw you don't... each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't go out of your way to screw each other. Sorry, continue. Sorry. <laughs> Where were we? So. You, you don't choose who you fall for. You don't choose, you know, what your heart is attracted to. And I think what had happened is, and also, my very initial conversation with Diamond was always, what's going on with you and this person? And his feelings has always been, I want the very best for her. And I think I'm the best for anything and anyone. So, in, you know, in that, I felt myself right to pursue that if there was relations to be had with Zari and I. I think she's an amazing woman. Absolutely one of the most beautiful women you'll ever see. Her heart is absolutely amazing. And I agree. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was easy to fall for her. It was easy to want to be around her. It was easy to want to be a shoulder when she needed. It was easy <clears> to <throat> you know to want to love her. Because she's she's a strong woman but she's a vulnerable woman who makes a man feel like, you know, an African king. And, you know, anybody would want to be a king to that queen. And I am no different. There's something we Nigerians say. We say, shoot your shot. <laughs> yeah. There you say go. The same thing. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah, shoot your shot. Okay, I started with your whole relationship because um, that's the part of, you that you all you know put out there but let's move over to the vulnerable side i mean reality shows are not filtered is there any point where you felt like oh you shouldn't have reacted to a oh, certain yes. situation the way you did or you shouldn't have said certain things that you say definitely i think um that's the biggest concern when you are working on a reality show because mm -hmm. nothing is scripted they put us in a situation and we have to speak as freely as we we would mm -hmm. want to and sometimes you forget that you need to hold yourself back because it is for TV, essentially. But because of the relaxed nature of the cast members and the situations that we were in, you forget that, you know, there's certain things you, you wouldn't want to say like this and you'd like to say like this. And you hope at the end of the day, the person that's cutting the conversation for the actual compact episode is doing it the right way in the way that you intended it to because at the end of the day everything has to stay in 40 minutes an episode or something like that and you can't explain yourself after the fact and you can't control your narrative when it's real life mm -hmm. real life is not controlled like that mm -hmm. and you have to be okay with the fact that people might misunderstand your intentions might misunderstand the way that you conveyed a message and it is what it is but um definitely it is a concern while we were shooting but it's a concern you can't control it's reality mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Um, Kaylee, what do you think about that question? Yeah, so I think at some point you you forget that the cameras are watching. Mm. So you <laughs> you start living in yourself. You start living <laughs> as true to yourself as possible. Um, so I think that um, yeah, that that's that's, yeah. that's all I can say. I think she covered it, covered most of it. Yeah. Um, yeah so I agree hundred percent with Nadia as well. Yeah, Nadia, I'll also come back to you because I really, really want to talk about your relationship with Annie. Yeah. Yes, but before we go there, um, the show is all about portraying Africans in better light. You know, you all have very, very successful careers. Do you think that the show did justice in portraying you all in better light? Well, we all haven't watched the show, unfortunately, so we have mm. no idea 
how it's being, how we're being portrayed, how it's being received, how it looks. The only thing we've seen is the trailer. So I, it's difficult to answer that question, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Um, so let's talk about your relationship with Annie. At the beginning, you did not really like her. You know, you felt, oh, she was too forward. She yeah. didn't like the food and then stuff like that. And then when she had the quarrel with Zali, it sort of felt like you picked her side. That's Annie's side. Is that a form of character development or something? Um, I think because I had more face-on-face um, -face action with Annie, <laughs> um, I got to oh, wow. know her. I never really had one-on-ones with Zari, so I didn't know her. And the thing is that when I met with Swanky and Annie and invited her to Kanye's ball, I got a little uncomfortable to, because of the, the back and forth that happened with her and Kanye. I felt that Kanye is probably going to be upset with me for inviting this person to a ball that's causing drama and making... So that's the only reason I was a bit upset with Annie because I was like, we all don't know you here. You knew. Swanky said that you're a dope person. I brought you to this ball to then cause drama with the host, which is what I was uncomfortable with. But as I got to know Annie, as we progressed, I, I respect Annie as the person that I got to know um, and the things that she's dealt with and the, the, the fact that she's a mother and she's a wife and she's a strong-willed person. And if Swanky, like, really advocates for Annie, there's a reason why. He doesn't play with people that are weak, which is what I think Annie really stands up for. It's unfortunate that me and Zari never, ever got to interact on that level, you know? So I couldn't take Zari's side. I just felt like... Also, you need to respect the, the constitution of marriage. And I feel like Zari s spoke things out of turn to a person that's <laughs> married about her husband. And that made me feel very uncomfortable. And I think any woman would feel uncomfortable for another woman to come at another woman that is married with kids with this man and you're talking out your neck. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. But a part of me feels like Aunt Lee does not agree with you. Because Andy's thinking with his poom poom. <laughs> That's exactly true. He's thinking with his poom poom. He lost all rationale. <laughs> Andy, let's talk about your relationship with Annie and Zari. I mean, Annie is like your paddy paddy, and then Zari is like your, um, you know, and then Excuse both me. of them are <laughs> <most> <laughs> Great <laughs> timing! <laughs> you see, <laughs> on it! <laughs> it's the blood of Jesus, he's saying, yo! <laughs> I, feel, I feel like Andy is in the middle of all of this. Andy, how do you feel about that? <laughs> um, I mean, firstly, I love Annie to bits. She's like a a big sister to me from day one when we started speaking you know we we just hit it off i just think there was a huge misunderstanding that's all it was you know i think there was familiarity on the one end of zari who felt i know this person therefore i'm familiar with her and i think she just overstated and overthought what that relationship was i don't think there was ever an intention to do harm particularly to a married man and a, and a marriage and you know, um, and I, I always choose to see the best in people. So I was able to see the best in both. I was able to see what Zari was trying to get at, but I was also understanding where Annie was coming from. Did I feel like I was in the middle of all of it? Not necessarily, because as grown adults, we all make our choices and, you know, we must stand by them and both ladies did and one can support both of them without having to be in the middle of it. Um, you know, I'd be there for both of them all over again. That's like the perfect um, response to my question. Um, I wish we had more time to, you know, continue this conversation. Unfortunately, time is up. But I really want to tell you guys, well done. I enjoyed the show and I oh. cannot wait. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> You're Thank so you. beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.